Hey guys, Katie here. Hey, listen, I am here to talk to you about something that is definitely going to offend you. It really is. And I'm not here to offend you on purpose. I'm here to speak truth. Um, this was really placed on my heart. And this is something that I actually struggled with myself. Because there is one thing in your life, one thing in your life that will keep you stuck if you let it, okay? And this, it'll, it shows up in fruit in your life, especially if you're someone that's in business, okay? Or especially if you're someone that uh, is looking to uh, really, really get out of the mess that they're in. And they're in, a, I, I see a lot of people in a big mess, and you know you're in a big mess, and hello, I, 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 I know exactly what that's like, and I'll get to my story in a second. But here's the thing. If you know you're in a big mess, you have got to follow this one piece of advice. And there's fruit of it that shows up in your life. And there's, I, I could go on. I actually wrote this down because it was so powerful, okay? The fruit of it, and here's what it is. This is what will keep you stuck. Fear of man. Yes. Fear of man will prove to be a snare. And for me, I trust in the Lord, and that's just my faith. And I'm not afraid to tell anybody that. And some people can completely delete this video or whatever. I don't care. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to actually set you free in your mind with this one thing. Not saying that there couldn't be more things keeping us stuck, okay? And I'm not saying that you shouldn't submit to authority, you shouldn't submit to man, okay? Um, because in a lot of cases, you still have to. But fear of man, fear of man actually will, I'm actually going to let that keep playing. Fear of man, this is what it's going to do, okay, guys? This is what it's going to do. This is the first thing it's going to do, okay? Uh, you care more about what others think than actually what your own family thinks. And in a lot of cases, even what God thinks of you. Listen, you can't have that kind of thinking, Guys, you've got to be set free. In my case, I will tell you, I put God's thoughts above my thoughts. Have I screwed this up? Oh, yes, I have. I've totally screwed this up. And I have to continue to renew my mind so I put him first. Okay? So, but you care about more about what others think. And even, even over your own family. Listen, that will keep you stuck. That absolutely will keep you stuck. Okay? The second thing is uh, you're constantly losing focus, okay? You're constantly, and I, I, I've struggled with this. I really have struggled with this, okay? Uh, you're constantly losing focus on, on tasks that are in front of you, okay? There's tasks that are in front of you that you know you need to do, and you're not doing them because you care uh, what others think of what you're doing. That will keep you stuck, friend. It will keep you stuck, okay? The third thing, um, you, you really don't, okay, you're trying to get things right. You're always trying to get everything right. You got everything's got to be perfect or you're afraid someone isn't going to like it and that's just going to ruin everything. That's the fruit of fear of man, y'all, and that will keep you stuck. It'll keep you stuck from your God-given purpose. Do you know that you have a birthright that was given specifically and designed for you okay, for you that you're supposed to accomplish here on planet Earth. Worrying about what others think will keep you stuck. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, in every of your life. It will. The fourth thing, you're fake. You ain't real. You're, you're, you're trying to fit in everywhere you go. You want everybody to like you. You say the right things at the right time just to look good. Give me a break, people. I mean, come on. I'm not saying you go off and be rude, okay? I'm not saying that. And I've gotten, you know, I found myself being overly nice to people. You know, when I didn't want to be overly nice to them, I don't even like them, but I'm supposed to love them. That's the truth. But you're constantly fake. People don't like fake, dude. They don't. They don't like fake. Stop being fake. That's fear of man. That's the fruit of fear of man. Uh, the fifth thing is you quit taking risks because you're afraid of failing. That's the fear of man. You have lost uh, your risk-taking spirit. Doesn't matter. I know that there's, I, I'm very familiar with different personality types. You know, there's some, some people are more naturally prone to risk-taking. It doesn't matter. You've lost faith. You have. And, and, and that's fear of man. That is. It's fear of man. It is. The fruit of it is definitely fear of man. Um, the sixth thing, uh, you can't speak the truth 
for fear of whatever others will think. You're afraid if I tell them the truth, then they won't like me. That's fear of man, and it'll keep you stuck for who you are and who you're called to be. Period. End of story. Okay? The seventh thing, you'll isolate yourself. Oh, do I so know this one. Yes, I know this one. Uh, I went. There was a period of time in my life, okay, in 2009 when I lost my job, when I was unemployment, I was so off the world, okay? I mean, I was just so mad at the world. I was a new mom. I had worked my butt off for this company for many years, for a lot of companies, and a lot of things had gone down uh, that that were, that, I mean, I had just been through living hell over the course of the last year with this company I worked my butt off for, okay? Uh, a lot of things that I did, I walked through lawsuits with this company, I walked through nasty things, just nasty, horrible things, and found myself on unemployment. My investor let me go, and I was mad. So I, I did over the course of the last three years, even though I, I went in and out of business for myself and I, I, I had success, failed, success, failed, success, failed. The biggest thing was that is because I, I, I got this attitude that I had to control everything. That screw you, I got to control everything. I'm going to do everything my way. And so I isolated myself and tried to do everything on my own. And let me tell you something, that will keep you stuck and it will keep you broke. I'm here to tell you, friend, it's time to be set free of this mindset. It's time to forgive. It's time to let go of your past. Because if you're watching this, I promise you, I promise you that if you can turn from you know what's wrong in your life, and in my case, I dedicated my heart to God. And you know what he did for me? He's restoring my life as we speak. He's restoring it. Why? Because I turned from fear of man. I turned from the, the and I'm, he's still working on me, okay? I ain't saying I'm perfect. But guys, I turned from that. That's number seven. The last one is you, you decision analysis paralysis. You know, you, uh, uh, you spin in circles. You can't make a decision. You're just, you're all over the place. That is fear of man because you're constantly afraid of what other people will think. You think everything needs to look a certain way. A certain way for you to look all great and glamour and people you're looking for all this recognition you're looking for this you think you need all the toys in the world you think you need this camera you think you need this computer you think you need everything no you don't you don't need any of it none of it's gonna get you to your God-given birthright none of it none of it's gonna get you to your calling you'll always be afraid of money you'll always be afraid of man and you'll you'll never be able to make decisions in your life so you've got to step up You've got to make a decision with your life that you're going to turn from fear of man and fear of, you know, of, of, of failing and all these different things that are keeping you stuck, friend. I'm telling you, seven months ago, I found myself in that situation. You know, I, 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 I recognize that I allowed a lot of things to kind of happen back to back to back over the last few years that, that I decided to take personal responsibility for in my life. Personal responsibility. And I, just, I made a decision. There was a link below this video, a, a video that I watched. And thank God I said yes and, and made a decision to turn my life around. Because how dare I, uh, you know, fall into this pit of mess, you know, for my family. My family needs me to bounce back. They need me to rise up. I've experienced generational uh, failures in my life because it runs through, the, it runs through my family. And I said, enough was enough. I was done. You gotta be done. There's a link below this video and you gotta make a decision with your life. That's what you gotta do. You gotta turn, friend. You gotta turn. Turn all the way around. The direction that you're going right now, go in the other direction and go as fast as you can. I'm telling you, there's a link below this video and I can't wait to help you out of your mess. I'll see you soon, bye.